Welcome back to part nine of setting up the Power Platform Center of Excellence. In this video, we're going to be covering off inactivity processes. So that's going to cover unused Canvas apps, cloud flows, and how to go about cleaning up unused connection references. So the first thing we're going to want to do is locate a flow called admin pipe broken connection cleanup. So we're first going to look for this cloud flow within our center of excellence environment and specifically within the core component solution. Once we've clicked into our core component solution, we're going to click on cloud flows in the left hand navigation. And then we'll search for the flow in question. So we've clicked on cloud flows. Just give it a few moments. We will now search for admin type broken, although just searching for broken probably would have been the better way of doing it. Okay, so it's not in the core component solution. So let's back out of this solution and we'll come into governance components. Again, once this is loaded, we'll click on cloud flows in the left hand navigation. With cloud flows selected, we'll search for broken. Mm -hmm. And here we go, admin broke up connection cleanup. So we're going to turn this flow on. So we can just select it and then click on turn on. What we're also going to actually do is I'm going to click onto this flow. And we're going to attempt to run it, although it could take a while, although there's not too much going off in my Power Platform environments currently, but let's just attempt to run it. The reason I'm specifically making a point of this is because as per the Microsoft documentation, it's possible that if you do this for the first time, it may exceed a page result size. And if that is the case, and I'll, I'll, again, I'll reference the documentation to each elements of the Power Platform Center of Excellence that kind of matches the video. There's some PowerShell that you can run, do that, get it kind of, well, this is what I'm assuming is the case. You kind of get it shape and then subsequently the flow will be able to take care of it on a more ongoing basis. I'm just going to click into this run because I think specifically it's the get connections ads as admin action where it could fall down, which I'm assuming is in here. That's list that's going through the environment. So get connections as admin. So we can see it's going going iterating through each of the eight Power Platform environments and it is successfully doing the get connections as admin whereas if that fails that's where we would have to revert to the powershell next we're going to cover off some environment variables associated with the inactivity processes so i'm just going to duplicate this tab and i'm basically wanting to open up our admin command center canvas app so we'll go into our core component solution. Once it's loaded in the left-hand navigation, we'll select apps. With apps selected, we're going to launch our admin command center canvas app. So the first environment variable to ensure is populated, and I believe we did this initially, is the individual admin. So 
There is also an admin email one, but because you can't use a distribution list for approvals, that's where the individual admin comes into play. Once the app has launched, we're going to want to click on Setup. And then we'll search for Admin. Although whilst this has a think about it, we can already see the individual admin option here, which we've already specified. So again, as the name suggests, it is an individual. The next one we'll look at is the Clean Up Old Objects app URL, which I believe we covered off in the previous video, but we'll still um, search for it. Yeah, and if you ever want to obtain that URL, that app lives within the governance component solution. Click on apps in the left-hand navigation, click on the ellipses, the three dots, details, copy the link, come in here, and to paste it and then save. The remaining one is again one that we did in the last video, flow approvals URL. To obtain this, you go into your relevant environment within Flowland, click on approvals, copy the URL, and again paste it in here and save. Again, similar to some of the other exemption options, if you have there may be Power Platform environments that you want to be exempt from having the inactivity notification process cast over them, particularly those dedicated environments that you already deem to be well managed. So to handle which environments are going to fall under that umbrella, if we go into our Power Platform admin view, model-driven app, which is part of the core components solution, so we'll just launch this now. We'll want to select in the navigation environments. So we'll click environment. Although, let's just wait for it to load. Environments here. And then for example, we'll go to our production environment. And then you'll see if you scroll down under environment details, the series of these excuse from options. So if you've got an older version of the center of excellence, which we should really be in the habit of updating, where I've got excuse from inactivity flows, it may also say excuse from archive flows, but it's the same difference. We would click, we would specify it as yes, and then we would save. Next thing, there's some more flows that we're going to turn on, uh, except this time we will ensure that we start off in the governance components solution. And, and that's why we've kind of done things sequentially because this is a, a prereq for a lot of the inactivity stuff lives within that solution. Although I maybe may tweak my words, but I'm gonna search for admin, pipe and then inactivity and as i say that again it probably would have been easier just to search for inactivity but hey ho uh, so we've got four with the inactivity in them so we've got check approval which is already on clean up and delete which is already on start approval for apps which is on and start approval for flows which is on the remaining one is an ignored if Approvals, admin email managers ignored, inactivity notifications approval. I believe that may have had a slightly different name in the past, but that must be the one and it is turned on. So the next thing we're going to want to do is ensure that the app in relation to these elements is shared with makers and this is going to allow admins to manage archive approvals so the app we're talking about is the clean up old objects app 
which again, we'll walk through the motions, but I believe we may have already done this, but we've got Clean Up Old Objects app. We're gonna to go to Share. And once again, we're gonna utilize our Power Platform Makers group. You can see we've got the Power Platform Makers security role. I'm not gonna bother sending an email and then we'll click Share. And that covers this inactivity processes video off for now. Again, like I say, we will come back around and walk through actually playing out using these various elements. But at the moment, we're just talking about ensuring we've got the necessary configuration in place. In the next video, we're going to talk about Microsoft Teams governance processes. Thank you for watching.